do you have a gaming keyboard that sounds something like this? Yeah, me too. So let's fix it with something more like this. In this video I'll show you how I built my first custom keyboard on a budget and with all the features that I wanted. Now let me show you how to do the same. Right, so the first thing you want to do is gather as much information as possible, either through YouTube or forums on the internet, and get familiar with the keyboard jargon and all the technical words people use. Go and check out some of the amazing creators out there on the internet. They explain things way better than I could ever, so I'm not even going to try. Once you've done that, you want to make a list of all the features you need your keyboard to have and the features you would like it to have, and of course, set a maximum budget for your build. I would recommend to use sites like Amazon or AliExpress to get all your keyboard components. Just make sure to read the reviews before you buy anything. I'll leave the names of a few custom keyboard kits that I found down in the description to help you. But I ended up picking up this Eggwox GK83 keyboard, a pre-built keyboard on AliExpress for about 76 euros. It came with this plastic dust cover a simple USB-C cable and a pretty nice switch and keycap plug. The keyboard itself has a full aluminium case, a metal volume knob, a hot swap PCB with unfortunately no facing LEDs, but it does have 2.4 GHz connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity and obviously the wired USB-C connection. It has full RGB with multiple effects you can control with the volume knob. It also has a built-in battery case foam and a silicon pad between the PCB and the switch plate. I also picked up this switch lubing kit for about 19 euros on AliExpress. It came with grease, oil for the springs and a nice little paintbrush and it even came with this really cute metal switch opener. And a tub of 110 of these Akko CS Jelly Blue switches for about 28 euros on AliExpress as well. These are light tactile switches which is what I found out that I preferred. If you don't know what you like, I would recommend you go down to your local tech store and try out the keyboards that they have on show. They are never the best but at least you can get a feel for what a linear switch, a tactile switch and a clicky switch is like. The last thing I picked up was this box of double shot PBT keycaps from AliExpress again for about 24 euros. It came with two sets so you could pick and choose which colours you liked and even came with a nice set of bright green accent keys which I quite liked. Anyway, enough talking, let's just build this keyboard.
in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. 